will have access to the exercise files that I use throughout this course. To get them, simply visit the Exercise Files tabs of the course webpage and download the compressed zip file to your computer. Once extracted, you'll have a folder that you can place wherever is most convenient for you. I've placed mine on the desktop here. Inside this folder are chapter folders, and each individual chapter of the course has its own folder with the map documents that we'll be exploring in ArcGIS. You'll notice that within the course folder is another folder called Data Files, here. This folder contains all of the common data sets that we'll be using in our maps, and these data files are referenced by the map documents in the chapter folders. Finally, inside the Data Files folder is an empty working folder here, and this is where we will be saving some of our output files as we generate them throughout the course. Now, a couple of notes before we move on. These data files all come from real-world sources and represent the data found in a variety of online repositories. However, they shouldn't be used for any actual analysis work, as some of them have been modified for the course and may not include completely accurate attributes any longer. If you need data for a real-world project, then take a look at the data files info text file here. This will tell you where all the files originally came from, and you can go and download a fresh and unmodified version for yourself. Secondly, Geospatial data files, such as the ones we have here in the data files folder, require just a little bit of careful handling above and beyond what you might be used to with other files. I want to call special attention to some of the differences that you might encounter and some of the precautions that you can take to protect your files in the next movie.